for tuning in. We understand it's been a while since we last published a video. We at Exposing Exploitation felt it was important to discuss a recent case regarding a 30-year-old child modelling agency known as Balancazar. For those new to the news, Balancazar self-proclaims themselves as an institution specialising in the training, management and representation of professional models for the medium of advertising, fashion and the media. Our courses include a study based on the improvement and personal growth of the individual, allowing them to find a way to scale and stand out in our current society. Among our services is the organisation of fashion events for firms related to fashion style. We organise, plan, direct and execute projects related to fashion. Some of you may have already heard the latest news regarding Balancazar. Before the mainstream news started to cover this topic, a few others had also spoken out against Balancazar in hopes something would be done sooner. And for that, we thank everyone who spoke out. YouTuber Ron Swanson from Surviving Life has covered the company in his video, explaining what he witnessed as a sexualized child modeling production that focused on catering to the paedophilia community, pointing out the props being used, such as whips or floggers. Ron's video showcased the channel and his own tour of their media, only to be striped and targeted by Balan Kazar with threats to remove his channel if Ron didn't retract his video content. Due to this, the video Ron produced was removed, which brings up a jarring issue with investigative journalism or speaking the truth on ongoing issues. Another case of an individual speaking out on illegal activities only to be censored can be seen by looking at YouTuber Warm Potato. Warm Potato spoke out against a website known as COP that for some unknown reason is still allowed to perpetrate the open internet even though they participate in illegal activities openly. Warm Potato video on the subject was well done, professional and objective. The video could have been used to educate parents and professionals alike in understanding what the website was conducting and why it was illegal. Instead, the video was pushed into obscurity for some unknown reason. Thankfully, a backup was saved and can be viewed elsewhere. We believe everyone, big or small, has the power to expose and investigate criminal activity. Thus, we encourage people to take advantage of archiving and preserving information and evidence via the various online tools. We will link a few in our video description. As an example of how important this methodology is, we wish to show a source point of evidence that provides proof of the claims against Balancazar. Here is an article made by a member of Exposing Exploitation. Archangel Gabriel article was made months before most people started to speak out. The biggest difference between the article and most outspoken individuals was protection from censorship. Immutable publishing, a method of publishing that allows your work to be online forever. Using Steemit, Archangel Gabriel work was able to be online regardless of different opinions against the subject which has allowed various groups to discover the information, such as other journalists, law enforcement, etc. The idea versus the ideology. You want to believe that the law is the ideology which is so solid that it provides governance throughout any question regarding the ethical basis for your ideas. Yet, there is not a guarantee that this belief in governance provides anything but an easy way out of further difficult ethical decisions. It has been a shock to me to see a work I published on the Steam blockchain more than six months ago become viral. The shock is one of being overwhelmed that I, a mere mortal in some obscure corner of the globe, was able to provide time-stamped evidence regarding the subject that I was investigating at the time. This subject was one that I stumbled across through the investigative exploration I did as a member of Exposing Exploitation. This online collective was investigating YouTube at the time, from April 2018 onwards, and instances of live stream grooming of minors occurring when I came across Belankazar. From the outset it was clear that Belankazar wasn't what it purported to be. 
their YouTube channel with its hundreds of underage young girl child model videos wasn't just another clumsy attempt by the channel owner to game the YouTube algorithms that dictate virality and popularity, it was a concerted enterprise that focused almost solely on presenting lewd and lascivious material of minors, especially that of young Venezuelan girls aged from 6 to 16, to the global YouTube audience. From Archangel Gabriel We believe that everyone that works within the law has the right to publish their work without censorship. With the recent trend of abusing moderation functions on mainstream platforms, it's more important than ever to work with programs that help keep your work alive for as long as the internet is around. As always, thank you all for striving to undercover the dark underbelly that occurs online and elsewhere. We hope this video has given you something new to understand. We like to mention that our work through the years has been unpaid and volunteered, so we hope you understand and support us through bringing awareness to others in an effort to prevent victims. We're currently in the process of new and greater things, striving to be innovative and always appreciate the feedback and advice given to us. Please feel free to contact us through our email or elsewhere. Thank you.